So just a few moments after I saw a buck cruising through the brush out the point, I saw a doe appear headed up the point and I was just hoping that that buck I'd previously seen was going to be right behind her. I just shot this eight that was, came out with two does. Uh, been waiting for several trips to make that shot. Now we got a doe that didn't run off. And we're gonna see if Kenny can make it make a shot on her. She jumped up, it looked like it looked like it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there he is. Good job, my man. Thank you. Sorry, man. You know, I think this is one of those moments that just, you know, you're so excited, it's a loss for words. It's the biggest buck of his life, camera's rolling. You know, I don't think he really knew what to say at the time, but I'll tell you right now, he was a happy camper. But now that we found his buck, it's time to go find the giant that I just shot. Well, Brent's deer went about 70 yards, maybe. When we look back at the footage of the, the doe, uh, otherwise known as a spike buck that I shot, it, it hit the ground, looked like it hit it pretty hard, and we heard it crash, so we think it's just right down in here. We're gonna head down here and see if we can find it. I think it's right down in here where it crashed. Maybe look at this one. Maybe it didn't go this far. Oh yeah, I went too far. All right. Well, we were wrong. It's not a doe with antlers. <laughs> it is a spike. Can't even see. Oh yeah, smoked him. Look at that giant. I'll tell you right now, this is not, not a big buck. We thought it was a doe. Um, and I, I really didn't even look when it came around through there. And Brent said it's a big old doe. I just assumed that it was, but West Virginia, you, it's legal. You can shoot buck or doe. Doesn't have to be any specific size. Tell you what, I'm not gonna put him on the wall, but his back straps are going in the freezer. He's gonna be good eating. 
And man, we had a whole lot of fun. That's what hunting is all about, you know. I don't trash people for shooting something if it's something you wouldn't shoot. If they shoot it legal and and it's ethical, and they're having fun doing it, that's what it is all about. I was shaking like a leaf. I thought it was a doe. I couldn't have been shaking any more than, than if it was a 160 inch deer. You know, we kill a whole lot of big bucks on whitetail frenzy. But I tell you what, for us, we love killing big bucks, but we love getting out here and having fun. Brent and I, we've developed a pretty good friendship over the last year. And this gun right here is really special to me. What I did is on this handguard, I actually put Whitetail Frenzy's logo and name on here. But the thing that makes this even better is I put his dad's initials on this gun. I don't think anyone has ever given me anything that nice in my whole life. And to be able to come here, spend, spend a few days with him at my dad's hunting camp. This is the first deer I've shot at this hunting camp since he passed away. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a special one. This hunt is a special one. We enjoyed it. I'm glad Brent got to come here and spend some time. You know, neither one of these bucks we shot were giants. His was obviously a whole lot bigger than mine. We had a whole lot of fun doing it.